Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Wooded Home Games. We're back with um, part two of the attack. Um, on Obviously part of it is Way of the Warrior, and other times, this is just as I said last week, um, or in the last video, um, that, yeah, it could be a mashup of this one, I think, of other attacks as well, that Klingons were involved in, but yeah, we'll start off from here from Way of the Warrior, and... Captain, your shields have been weakened, your station boarded, and more Klingon ships are on their way. Surrender while you can! I don't think so. My shields are holding, your boarding parties are contained, and my reinforcements <laughs> are closer than yours. This is exactly what the Founders want. Yeah. The more we fight each other, the weaker we'll get, and the less chance we have against the Dominion. We can still win! Not before those starships get here. Mm -hmm. Now what do you want me to tell them? To stand down, or to come in firing? We will mm -hmm. not surrender! Just locked onto us. Secondary. Yeah, I think this these kind of clips are now from the time they were coming in from the alternative universe. This is him with Smiley. He was uh Colomini's kind of alternate character to uh Miles O'Brien. What secondary power? You gotta get us out of here. <laughs> we can't risk giving the cruiser a clear shot. I was just starting to like this ship. <laughs> This was a scene that this part of this clip was obviously in the last uh, one where I, I was right then. I have ever seen one that they had the English subtitles, so that was it. Where he was ordering the retreat. <laughs> they fight like Klingons. <laughs> so, back to obviously the DS9 battle of the way of the warrior then. So it's kind of moving back and forward between clips in this one. <laughs> You're the boss. The Klingon ships have powered down their weapons. I do not intend to hand victory to the Dominion. But let your people know. The Klingon Empire will remember what has happened here. You have sided against us in battle. And this, we do not forgive. Or forget. <laughs> it's the eyes. He was, was brilliant to do that, like, you know. And Quark, slayer of Klingons. <laughs> the Klingons are refusing to give up several of the Cardassian colonies they seized during the invasion. They're fortifying their positions and deploying orbital defense systems. Looks like the Klingons are here to stay. Mm. Maybe they are. But so are we. There you are. So that was that. <coughs> so that was part two. So a couple of bits and a couple of other bits and pieces there, apart from where the warrior. But it was just to kind of showcase the ending of it when they had the retreat and what was said. So um, very good. Well, I'll keep these coming though. I'll try and do a few other ones from Star Trek. Um, I'll try and do a few more um, from likes of uh, Next Generation and from Voyager because I do love those as well. But if I had to pick one, if you love Star Trek and you had to pick one out of all of them. That you could only ever watch again. For me, it would have to be DS9. There was a lot of hype. There's a lot of talk about DS9 as you know, kind of similar to Babylon Five and blah blah blah. But to me, they're entirely different. Yeah, the setup, the premise, and that's quite the same. It's just it's the star base, blah blah blah, and all different races are coming together. That's the setup for likes of Babylon Five as well. But to be fair, the storylines are completely different. 
and completely different characters and quite complex and quite unique storylines, I think, involved in how the characters interact. But um, as I said to King Zeb and a few other people as well, I will have to try to do a few more Babylon 5 reactions as well. If you haven't seen Babylon 5 and you're interested, there is a few um, reactions already on the channel. You can also check them out and see what you think. If it's something you enjoy, definitely I think it'd be worth worth a look. Uh, if um, One of the first ones I'd watched back and uh, a friend of mine got me into it. Now, I put up as well during, the, during that that I watched... Um, I may have been told by my friend then the wrong order in terms of watching the the movies. Not there. I watched in the beginning somewhat first, um, so it gives you give me backstory into the characters so I could understand it a bit more. But um, obviously that wasn't meant to happen until like season two or something like that. But yeah, I think you should just go ahead and watch it as it is. Then watch that kind of films. You can find it on Google. I'm sure anyway the best time to watch the kind of movies. Or the extended episode, which is, uh, if whatever you want, the way you want to put it in, um, you'll find where they're meant to go, you know. But I think either way, you'll enjoy it because the characters are amazing. I think the best characters I loved, Babylon Five, was um, um, I can't think of the name now. Uh, it was the Centauri against um. Oh God, my mind's gone blank. Uh, the Narn, you know, so the, the, the two ambassadors, Jakar and uh, Londo Malari, that was it. Um, the, the, they had like a love-hate relationship throughout a lot of it, but the acting and the stories, I think, were amazing. So, definitely. I would love to see that kind of remastered a bit, actually. That would be good. But yes, I'll, I'll stop rambling on. So, thank you very much, folks. I will see you next week, and uh, have a good week ahead. Bye.